Hi, welcome to the Quick Sutri Room. Today we're going to talk about um, downlighters. So um, if you are familiar with them, there are these little uh, standard ones. You get them in a fixed configuration and you get them uh, one that can, uh, that's able to tilt. So I've got here a, a tilty one and I want to install some of this in our kitchen. But I've encountered a problem that we are not sure entirely of the future of our kitchen layout and I don't want to make big holes in the ceiling everywhere. If you want to install these downlights and you don't want to make holes, maybe you can't make holes, maybe you have a concrete ceiling um, and you don't, you, you are un un unable to install downlighters um, like these or Sometimes uh, you also have a very high ceiling and you don't want the downlighters to be way up there and you want them to be lower and you want to make a feature of them, out of them. So what I'm going to show you is how to make a fitting for these uh, downlighters that you can make um, protruding downlighters. So I've decided on the length uh, 150 millimeters and what I used is this um, PVC downpipe it's a standard gutter downpipe um, it says here PVC downpipe 80 millimeter you see yeah to be precise 81 millimeter in diameter and um, it's white and I've got white fittings so they look nice now from from the start you can think like oh it's simple you're just gonna put this inside the down pipe like that but it's not these springs are quite strong and they're gonna push the the pipe out to the oval and this there's nothing to 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 locate it so you have this this uh overhang on the one side and it's not neat so what i want to show you is constructing out of this normal downpipe by just cutting it in a certain way and using some some super glue to construct a very sturdy uh, fitting that's that's got a thicker thicker thickness all over um, especially where the light goes in and then on the other side I've got this this wooden plug that's quite a tight fit and the idea here is to to have this um, screwed into the ceiling with your with your wire coming out you make a connection and then after this is installed like that you just take this and you slide it over and it's a, it's a tight it's a press fit and then the downlight is fixed to the to the, to the ceiling and you only ended up making a small hole for the wire and maybe two or three holes for the screws to hold this onto the ceiling and you can you don't have to make it this length you can you can adapt this design to any length you can make them long you can even have them um, hanging from from a wire so that it's a feature like a little light fitting if you want to bring them down and you don't have to keep 
with the, with the color scheme. They don't have to be white. You can paint them. You can put a paint technique on them. You can spray them. You can make them metallic. Uh, there's, there's lots of potential in this. I'm not going to cover all of that in this video. Um, all I'm going to show you is to make this basic uh, holder for this down lighter. So let's start by telling you what you'll need. Um, you'll need a length, it, it comes in 3 meters of this 80mm uh, PVC downpipe. Uh, what you also need is the downlight fittings. Um, if you also want to use the white, white ones, and keep everything white, then that's fine. You can choose whatever um, color metal you wanted to use. And there's this. Then you also need the globes. Um, I chose the a more, little bit more expensive LED. And this specific one is a warm white. It's a uh, 5.5 watts warm white um, LED down light and it's dimmable in case I wanted to put a dimmer in. You'll need wiring to connect everything together in, uh, in the ceiling. What you'll also need is a piece of 16mm um, plywood. Um, it can be a, any scrap piece of plywood. Um, I recommend using plywood because it's, it's stronger, it won't crack open if you, if you draw into it and put screws in. And what you also need is piece of A4 paper, ordinary white paper, pencil, tape measure, some screwdrivers, uh, pliers or wire cutters, um, <clears throat> also need a draw, so be a cordless draw or a normal electric draw. An angle grinder, uh, I prefer using an angle grinder, but if you don't have an angle, angle grinder, you can also use an ordinary uh, metal hacksaw, um, like this one, that will also cut um, the PVC tube very neatly. You'll also need some masking tape, some super glue, of any brand of your liking. Some drill bits. Uh, this is a hole saw and it's a standard size. Um, this one is 76 millimeter outer diameter and you end up with, if you cut a plug, you end up with something that's 72 72 millimeter in diameter. So this is a, one of the plugs that I that I've already um, cut out. You can see it fits um, on the inside of the of the hole saw, and this is the right size to fit nicely with a little bit of sanding. It's a nice tight fit, that, and you want it to be tight. You don't want these to come out. Also, some sanding paper. And something like, uh, I've got this piece of uh, shelf um, railing, uh, but you can also use a piece of angle iron. That is just to, to be able to draw lines, because if you put it like this on the tubing, it can't move. Angle iron also, uh, it, it will always make a straight line 
on your round tubing. Wherever you place it, if you take your pencil and you draw a line there, that line won't be skewed, it will be straight. So that and, oh yes, just a utility, like a, a utility blade, just to work, to take the burr, the burr of the, of the, the PVC pipe. You can also use sanding paper there, but I find that the blade is, is the best way. And let's start. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use this, this white paper to mark a line that you use it to, to mark a line that's exactly around uh, 90 degrees. As soon as you take the paper and you fold it around uh, the tube and you line it up, then you know that the line is going around straight and 90 degrees. Um, and you can also cut the paper according to the you can use a bigger piece of paper if you want to to just mark both ends of your of your paper to get the, the right dimension so I already took, took this piece and I've cut it exactly the length 150 millimeter length just uh, be aware that there's some some places where there's printing on the pipe because it's a plumbing plumbing part. Um, if you if you don't want that on on your on your thing, if you want to use the clean white pipe, then you can always use these sections on the inside where you don't see them. And also look for ugly scratches or defects on the on the pipe, like here and then those parts. So I'm just going to cut a couple um, of them that I'm, I'm going to make four of these down lights and I'm going to just use my paper. I'm folding the paper around like this, making sure it lines up on both ends like that. Now I can draw a line for round. I'm moving it along, keeping a little gap for the thickness of the of the blade. You can see there I'm keeping just enough for my blade thickness. show you that you can also use a hacksaw. Um, I'm just going to cut one of them with a saw. So I've cut uh, enough pieces. I've got one extra. Um, I'm going to choose the nicest ones for the outside. It's got no marks on them. These are inside. So I've decided these are the outside pieces and these are going to go inside. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use this and I'm marking a straight line down. Oh, 
important that there's no burr on this. We want to measure exactly. fit inside so what I'm doing is I'm I'm checking what is a tight fit and I'm basically measuring what this this one's gonna be like to fit in tightly I'm giving it a little bit more measured how much I must cut away from this to for this to be able to fit in tightly inside the other tube and keep this off cut so you're gonna use it That's what we want, a very tight, tight fit, very tight. So this is now a double wall thickness. And then, uh, don't worry if, if it's not perfect at the top. We're gonna take some sanding paper and sand it nicely when they're all all done like this so I'm gonna do all of them and then I'm gonna show you how to put in those those rings uh, on the on the insides And then um, you do the same with the with the rings. These rings are sixteen millimeter wide. They've also been cut with the paper using the paper to cut them straight. I measured them off and cut them. And I need one, two, three, four, five, six of these. Okay, right, so now that we have the, the basic uh, structure made, um, all I want to do now is put these top and bottom inner rings in. And to do that, I need to get them the right size. So in order to do that, yet again, I'm taking this uh, one that's already cut and I'm you know, after, after cleaning the bird off I'm just putting it in and making an overlap and measuring seeing exactly um, how much I should cut off to make this fit tightly inside. So I'm making, making a little mark there with a pencil and then I'm going to cut that piece off and this will fit in 
tightly on the inside of this. Perfect. So I'm going to do this to all of them on both sides. Remember, I'm putting that joint on the opposite side of this other joint. Now that they are this far, I'm going to take some super glue and I'm just running it on this, just a few dabs of the super glue. And that will make sure that they they won't come out. And I'm also putting a little bit of it on the inside. But before I do that, um, these little strips, these strips, I'm putting them in there. Just got a mark way to cut them putting a little bit of the glue on the inside and then I'm just taking this strip placing it right there on the joint dropping it in and just lightly holding it in place until the, the glue took Just for good measure, I'm running a little bit of the, the glue on the inside of these rings also. There you have a ring with, with inner ring and a ring, it's three thick, and the down lighter fitting fits in perfectly. And it's very sturdy and strong. And this can't pull out. Now they're, they're all done and they're glued up. And just a note, be careful not to spill any super glue on the outside or get it on your hands. It will spoil the surface. So now it's time to make these wooden uh, plugs for the for the mounting and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you if you've got a normal cordless drill it's fine you can just use this to cut out your circles but I'm gonna use if you have a drill press it's much easier I'm gonna use the drill press So this is my, my drill press, um, it runs at a slow speed so it won't burn the wood and it's also less of an effort to, to push through the, the wood. You see, just putting some scrap wood underneath.
So what I'm doing um, is there's a little bit of burr left where the, the saw ended and I'm just taking that off and it's a perfect fit when, when this is cut out. It's a nice tight fit. It gives it a, a friction, friction fit. You can add little screws there if you want to, but I don't want to spoil the, the clean look and it's, it's going to be fine. I want to make sure that the wire fits through the middle hole and then I'm going to draw two smaller holes for a screwing it to the ceiling. <laughs> surfaces nice and flush and I'm just going to take the sanding paper put it flat on the table and give it a couple of rough like left now is the, the fitting um, that comes with the, the uh, LED downline. It looks like this. Um, it's got a bracket and sometimes the wiring is, this thing is turned around the other way. It just clips out. Actually when, when you get it, it's like this. <clears throat> so all I did is I clipped it out. I turned it around the other way and I clipped it back in and then all I do is I bend this part, I bend it like 90 degrees like this so that I can attach it to, to my uh, plywood plug on the wall like this. Then I have this, and then I'm using one of the screws that, that attaches it to the wall to, to screw this bracket uh, in place. And then it's a good idea just to pinch that little finger like that so that it can't slip out. And this gets screwed up there and then the wiring that comes from the, the DB board comes through this main hole, the, the big hole and I'll just connect that with this connector block and this whole uh, fitting that we made slides over this and it pushes, pushes into the, the plug and then when I install the, the globe it just this part just hangs out and you push it back in and that's basically it that's the whole fitting so let's move on to my kitchen where I'm installing them to show you how this gets installed so let's move on to the kitchen to install this so this is one of the places where the downlight is uh, the downlight is going to get installed. I've already did the wiring in the roof. Um, what I did is I looped the wire like that and it continues to the other locations where the other downlighters are and 
basically I need to strip this and slide the whole fitting over that and do the connection. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and hit that bell so that you um, are updated when I release my, my newest video. And I hope you have a great week.